Tonight, a man troopers linked to a fatal hit and run collision has surrendered at the Orange County Jail. His decision to give up comes months after the crime. KFDM's Haley Bull joins us now in the studio to explain why this case is rare for any hit and run investigation. Haley? Greg, troopers say what was left at the scene and the outcome of their investigation doesn't happen often. But today, after hour upon hour, weeks and months of work, a break in the fatal hit and run investigation. The case starts about 2 a.m. October 19th. Troopers say a driver struck a motorcycle from behind on Interstate 10 at FM 1136 in Orange County. 56 year old Tommy Joe Reeves died. We noticed that there was debris um, left from the vehicle that struck him. And that's kind of where our investigation started from. A headlamp, parts of side mirrors, plastic and chrome pieces littered across the roadway, photographed and collected. Clues to help troopers identify a vehicle. I think it does happen, but it's pretty rare that that much debris is left behind to where we can actually trace it back to a particular person or vehicle. The suspect, 37-year-old George David Welch of Vider. Wednesday, a felony warrant was issued for failure to stop and render aid, resulting in a death. The same day, investigators released this picture. And we started getting calls and tips within like 30 minutes of that. Aaron. Thursday morning, Welch surrendered at the Orange County Jail. He posted a $50,000 bond and was released. It's a great thing that we get this man off the road because obviously if he struck and killed someone and just left and he's been out for almost three months, it's great to get him off the road. A road where a man lost his life. Hours of work by troopers leading to what investigators call a rare outcome. A suspect and an arrest. Davis says there were no witnesses to the crash and troopers are investigating what led to it. Reporting in the studio, Haley Bull, KFDM 6 News.